Hi, good evening all. This is Vishal Singhal from Selfstat. Today we have Mr. Ashish Bajpayee. He's an AI intern with the Selfstat AI Lab. Uh, he's taking us through the NLP model of Spacey Transformers, uh, I believe, an automated uh, stuff. So we'll come to know more about it in uh, a short time. This session is being recorded and will be made live on our uh, Selfstat YouTube channel. I'll be sharing details in some time. I suggest if you have any questions uh, right now, you can start sending those. Uh, else, uh, send them towards the end, and we will be answering them all towards the end, unless they are quite critical. So, uh, transferring control to Ashish now. Go ahead, Ashish. Yeah. Um. Thank you, Vishal. Uh, guys, uh, let me know if you can see my screen. Sorry? Increase your volume, it's very low. Okay. Is it better now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, guys. Um, so, Vishal, just confirm me if you can see my screen. Yeah, thank you. Go ahead. Great. Okay. So, Hello, team. Um, I'm Ashish. Uh, I am working in an IT industry last 15 years as a, and uh, I'm a sales strat AI intern. Uh, I I have been in a Microsoft Technologies uh, for quite long time, 12 years. Then um, the last uh, couple of years, I'm working on the uh, rpa and the ai machine learning i started my journey on the ai and machine learning just a couple of years back uh, because of their interest i got uh, uh, after reading a lot of news articles and uh, uh, listening the webinars so it uh, it uh, so so how this is how my journey started in the ai field so my main focus is uh, in the uh, to learn the uh, natural language processing and to uh, to look for the um, different uh, products models and, uh, and because uh, these days every um, every uh, day a month we are getting some major announcements and uh, new features coming with the uh, with new uh, things that are happening in the NLP world so it's pretty good so in during my uh, previous session uh, where i presented the uh, transformer architecture uh, which is a paper published by the google brain Tree team um, attention all you need with the name so i explained the transformer architecture now in this uh, session i will uh, take um, uh, take that one step forward and uh, i'll present the, mainly I will talk about that how Spacey is uh, using the uh, tra transformer based models uh, in, into its uh, main library and uh, giving us uh, you know easy to use uh, uh, library package which uh, we can use in our uh, natural language uh, processing task in you know in, in in a very easy way without uh, uh, without uh, going through the uh, technicalities or mathematics uh, behind uh, you know which is happening in the uh, inside the transformer architecture which we discussed uh, in the last session like um, uh, the attentions the calculation of attentions uh, key carry values and all so uh, we all know that uh, there are multiple i mean many models uh, uh, language models are available which are based on the transformer architecture like uh, the very famous is bird we all know uh, whosoever is in the machine learning and nlp they know about bird uh, excelnet uh, robert distal bird all these uh, uh, you know different flavors uh, so all all these models natural language models are built over the transformer architecture so and we uh, the, the the spacey is a pre open source library 
for advanced natural language processing. So it, it's a very good uh, library and uh, it has uh, some very easy to use uh, functionalities. Um, you know, uh, it, uh, we all know about the NLTK in the previous days, uh, natural language uh, toolkit. Uh, so that uh, that comes uh, that the purpose of uh, creating the NLTK uh, toolkit was uh, for the research purpose. So we could not uh, uh, use uh, uh, in the production environment. So when we are developing actual uh, the real time implementation we are doing in the NLP. So NLTK is not a very good library to use because of uh, it, it's basically uh, based on the um, uh, based for the uh, research programs and research work. So SPACI uh, is uh, is very uh, high. Uh, you know the performance wise it's very good. Uh, provides uh, inbuilt functionalities of um, uh, of comparing the uh, doing the word similarities. Inbuilt word vectors are provided. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, fine tuning uh, uh, the the uh, the pre-processing of the text, like like uh, cleansing the text, tokenizing, uh, getting the uh, dependency uh, dependencies, identifying the uh, and uh, named entity relationship. All these uh, different features are uh, av available in this PC and uh, very easy to use. So that's why this PC is very famous uh, these days. So, uh, what this PC is not is it's not a platform it's not an api it it is not an out of the box chatbot engine also and it's definitely not a research software and spacey is not a company so as i said it's a free open source library which anybody can use for their nlp tasks these are the some of the features um, uh, available in this pc so i'll go one by one will take not take a lot of time uh, the first is tokenization uh, as as we all know that uh, to process a text we uh, we we divide a text into sentences and uh, then every sentence is uh, is uh, is uh, broken into the uh, small tokens basically these are the word tokens uh, so it's uh, the, the it's a very simple in this PC. So we it gives inbuilt uh, feature for tokenization. Uh, part of speech tagging. So it automatically tags your word, uh, identifies that which word is um, noun, pronoun, verb, adjective. So all, all the part of speech tagging is done um, inbuilt, right? Dependency parser it uh, identifies the uh, dependencies between the words automatically. So it also so uh, especially the main the powerful feature of this PC is its strong pipeline. So uh, th this all work is performed inside the pipeline, and it is uh, when we pass any input to the uh, to the especially library function NLP. Um, so it does all this work for you. Uh, internally lemmatization as we all know that um, a lemma, lemma is uh, you know uh, converting uh, the the word into its base word like rats so s is removed and it's rat uh, sentence boundary detection is uh, automatically it detects the boundary of the sentence that uh, from where the sentence is starting and ending so it's doing it Named entity recognition, as I said, that um, it has a large corpus. Uh, you know, it, it comes with three different corpus, a different size of the corpus, small, medium, and large, uh, which has a collection uh, and uh, uh, it identifies the uh, entities, uh, whether it's an organization, whether it's a location, whether it's a uh, uh, you know, um, country name, city name. So all these it identifies. Uh, automatically uh, when we give any text so it uh, you know it returns you the uh, its um, entity uh, entity linking is uh, you know the named entity recognition gives us the uh, the 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 entities that uh, what what type of word, uh, word it is whether it is referring to a person or referring to a company or the location so entity uh, entity linking is 
it gives a unique id so uh, we say the knowledge base id assigns a knowledge base id to uh, these uh, these words as i said similarity so it is uh, uh, it, it's providing the similarity feature so we can compare two words to text and the documents and uh, it gives us the score that what is the similarity score and based on that we take a decision that whether uh, they are similar or not text classification is another one important feature here rule based matching so it's easy uh, we can pass any regular expression and uh, it will uh, you know find out the words uh, uh, for you using the rule based matching if you are doing any uh, feature extraction from the text training uh, it as i said that it uh, it it it, uh, it gives you the three different um, uh, three inbuilt models large bit and small so we can if we want we can train uh, train the inbuilt model also which is, which comes with this pc the serialization is uh, we can after training we can uh, we can save the model the train model and we can reuse the light re reutilize in the uh, future task okay now the here comes the transformer and uh, how the uh, the integration of spacey and transformers so um, Thomas Wolf and his team at Hugging Face have implemented several recent transformer models in an easy to use package uh, transformer. So I will let you know that Hugging Face is a company uh, which was founded in 2016. And uh, so they, they have developed the packages uh, which are, you know, um, which are uh, built over, as I said, that bird is built over the transformer. Um, so Hugging Face is the company which has uh, given our inbuilt package so that it is easy to use and consume um, in your uh, real projects uh, without, uh, uh, you know, without understanding the uh, technicalities of uh, training the model or fine tuning the models. So what Spacey is doing is that uh, Spacey is basically consuming these packages which are already developed by the hugging face company and it has in, taken that package and integrated in into its pipeline in build pipeline and it's available within the nlp pipeline so it's very easy so if you are doing data pre-processing you are you are doing for your uh, pr real project if you are uh, already using this pc then you can you know utilize this feature also uh, and can take the uh, take the benefits of the uh, uh, new models so in the below table um, i have uh, um, described the different packages uh, which is available in with the nlp uh, pipeline uh, using this spacey transformers so spacey transformer is a library developed by the spacey which is internally calling the consuming the hugging phase uh, packages so um, the first package uh, it's a bird base uncased the second is bird base cased and large group excelnet robert and distal bird these are the uh, couple of packages which is available with the spacey transformers library okay uh, any question till now vishal No questions. Uh, go ahead. Thank you. Here uh, we have listed down some of the features uh, of the um, of this library, Spacey Transformer. Um, it uses Bird, Robert, Excelnet, and GPT-2 directly in your Spacey pipeline. So it's uh, it's easy. Whatever you want, you can just uh, load and do it. Use uh, in your project fine tune we can uh, the fine tune pre trained transformer models on your task using these spacey apis custom component for text classification it's very easy using transformer feature automatic alignment of word pieces and outputs of linguistic tokens this i will explain in my next slides that uh, what is word pieces and uh, what does it mean by alignment of the word pieces built in hooks for context sensitive vectors and similarity out of the box serialization model packaging as i said that um, we can 
uh, save the <coughs> trend model and we can use it later okay these are a few of the steps uh, if you want to set up these PC transformers in your uh, in your for, for your uh, project so the prerequisite is that uh, this uh, this package is uh, uh, required python 3.6 plus version and uh, the latest version of spacey which is 2.2.1 or above is before installing um, uh, and this can be installed automatically uh, from the uh, pip installer it is available uh, so it um, also before installing it we have to make sure that uh, we already have installed the pytorch and spacey um, in our uh, um, project so below are the package installations like um, first we uh, forge spacey then pytorch then spacey transformers so when we do the pip install spacey transformers so this is the the uh, the component uh, which get installed and uh, make it feasible to uh, use the uh, to use these uh, language models in your project along with this we download the uh, model that's um, bird base excellent robot distal below 9 10 11 sequence we have the spacey download and core web and core web sm uh, small size medium size and large size so basically these are the uh, uh, this is uh, inbuilt corpus which comes uh, with the spacey by default en ensure en comes for it stands for the english so uh, spacey also uh, supports multi language um, for, for your multi language uh, process task we can uh, it it has the um, it has the uh, models for uh, many different languages also which we can use for our natural language processing here is the spacey pipeline so as I was talking, uh, you know that uh, it especially has a very strong inbuilt pipeline, which uh, make uh, make things easier for us. Uh, so first pipeline which you see is the normal spacey pipeline, which has a tokenizer, tagger, parser, ADR. So what tokenizer does is that it breaks your uh, sentence into small tokens. So each every word is a token. Tagger is uh, it assigns the um, you know uh, every word assign a part of speech whether it's noun subject what it is. Parser is uh, analyzing the uh, dependency between the words so it's it is doing the dependency parsing. In the next pipeline is NER which is named entity recognition which identifies that whether the particular word is representing an organization or it's a location or it's a person name or what as i uh, the, the next pipeline which you see is um, tokenizer sentenceizer word piecer talk to vec this pipeline is you know uh, for the trans transformer spacey transformer pipeline so when we consume when we use the, when we are going to use this uh, the, this um, spacey transformer then this is the pipeline which you see so tokenizer is in, it breaks um, uh, the sentence into token sentenceizer is uh, it's uh, uh, it it breaks your uh, whole corpus into um, uh, it identifies that the this individual sentences that from where it starts where, where it ends what is uh, bifurcating your uh, you know it uh, it is splitting your sentence into small words which is uh, called the word piecer. So this is very specific and different from the uh, tokenizer which we see in the first pipeline uh, because the models which we will be using are have a have a you know uh, have a different structure for uh, tokenizing the words in a sentence. I will explain uh, later. Talk to vec is uh, it's a token to vector. So uh, this component is basically, um, you know, uh, the transform. We 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 know that as as I explained that uh, transformer is uh, is behind all these uh, models, Bert, Excelnet, and all this. So uh, talk to vec is a is a component which is actually uh, you know 
taking output from the transformer and um, providing it to the SPACI pipeline. So we get as an output. So whatever is the output returned from the transformer in the processing, we get it through uh, this component talk to vec. So the token vector encoder components um, uh, of the model sets custom hooks that override the default behavior of the species. So you can see that it is uh, overriding the default behavior. The first is a default behavior, uh, which and then it's a overriding. Just a small brief about BERT because uh, we can use the Excel net also uh, with with the spacing. It is available as I said, all the packages. Uh, but for this, the presentation and the code in the code, I'll be using BERT uh, model for presenting my uh, sam code samples. So I would like to just give a brief description about BERT. What is BERT? BERT is a bi-directional encoder representations from the transformer as we uh, see that uh, with the uh, word bidirectional so bidirectional means is that uh, see uh, the most of the um, the previous uh, language models uh, like elmo and others they are only the uh, single direction either left to right or right to left but bird is the model which uh, you know parses the word from left to right and right to left in both the direction that's why uh, the name is the bi-direction so that's why the bird is very strong uh, and very powerful because it is uh, able to identify the context of the word because it is traversing in 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 both the direction left to right right to left so it uh, it predicts the context of the words very 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 good so, uh, so that's why the word, what, what does bidirection context means that for some words, their meaning might only become apparent when you look at the both the left and the right context simultaneously. If, if I take an example uh, of bank, so unless and until we don't know that what is before bank and what is what, what word is after the bank, we, we, we 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 may assume that okay bank is it may be a money bank usual icsa bank or other bank or it may be a river bank so what bank we are talking about we only know when we know that what word is coming after this particular word and what word is before the bank word so that's why bird is able to predict uh, take out the context the for a particular uh, this type of words so that's what um, a bird does how uh, how bird predicts how bird works is that it masks mas the words in the sentence and tries to predict those words um, after uh, you know uh, traversing from left to right and right to left and then try to predict that what uh, what word is uh, in the mask uh, which is mask so one important detail in the word is it uses word pieces so i was talking in the uh, in the pipeline that uh, about the word piece so word piece is what you can see that uh, for playing playing is a word but uh, playing is bifurcated into two different word play plus in so why it is doing is uh, this is to reduce the vocabulary size. So we know that ing can be uh, appended with playing, seeing, moving, going, anywhere. So the, so if we remove the ing part into the into the main word, we uh, bifurcate it. So uh, that way we can <clears throat> reduce the size of the vocabulary in uh, in a very uh, efficient manner so uh, that's uh, we, we we can efficiently use the memory so that that's another strong point of the bird of bird language model yeah. okay so now i will uh, come to the uh, code i will show you the word similarity as i was talking about you know it's just a comparison that uh, when using 
simple spacey coming with its own model and when using a spacey with the transformer models like bird or any other model how how it makes a difference so that's what uh, i'm presenting here so you can see that at uh, right hand uh, right hand side i have the similarity using spacey word vectors inbuilt spacey word vectors so there i have four sentences i went to river bank uh, went to deposit money into my bank account went to river bank in the for the morning walk went to bank withdraw the money and when we are doing this similarity comparison we are uh, trying to compare the word bank in each of the four sentences at right hand side so we see the similarity score coming as one so for uh, uh, when we are using a spacey with the with its inbuilt uh, model which is uh, you know n core web underscore lgs sm any model you can take so the score is coming one so it is not able to recognize the bank word whether it's a um, it's really a money bank or it's a river bank but at left hand side when you see when i'm using the same functionality using the spacey with the transformer the same sentences we are getting the similarity scores you can see that uh, the first and uh, the third for the first sentence and the third sentence uh, it is giving similarity score uh, similar because it is able to identify the word bank is used whether it is used in terms of uh, money bank or it's a river bank so it is quite visible here when doing the similarity so functionality i mean we are using the same library spacey but one we are using with transformer where one we are using with in inbuilt word vectors and we can clearly see the difference coming out so and that way you know uh, it becomes very power spacey becomes uh, very powerful when it is um, used with the uh, with the transformer models i have uh, code which uh, i would like to present yeah. okay so uh, this is plain uh, vanilla spacey so i import the package spacey load the default model and an is um, is set for english core web lg and uh, when we do the pipeline check the pipelines okay so it gives me tagger parser any these are the components uh, which are there in the pipelines if we pass a text a sentence we are passing a sentence into uh, this pc and uh, we are storing it is it gives a object returns me an object as a, as a top object so if we check the tensor the size so it gives up uh, it's not defined let me rerun this project load the nlp take the pipeline so here it may take some time uh, i mean takes little bit time because it's it's a uh, i i am loading actually large model it comes with three different flavors lg large medium and small so that's why it uh, it's taking a bit time but uh, we can go with the next uh, i can i can i'll, I'll uh, once it is loaded then i'll run and show you so this is how we are doing the uh, the four sentences and doing the similarity and also um, below we are comparing the sentences as well so here we are doing the word similarity using the uh, word bank in the next uh, we are using the um, sentence similarity looking for the sentence similarity so sentences also coming as uh, you know scores are coming the same scores we are almost getting however we know that as a human we know that these sentences nowhere uh, you know near to each other because one is talking about the river bank and one is talking about the money bank in the same 
way if i go to the spacey transformer where we are using the same spacey library importing the spacey uh, import the torch but instead of uh, loading the uh, its default um, default model we are loading the bird base model the the step is same the pipe so the moment uh, i am using it's giving me a different token to like now I have different text NLP transformer encoder decoder. Uh, when I'm checking the shape, it's giving me three comma seven sixty eight. There it was, uh, it was different. It, uh, it was ninety eight, but here it's seven sixty eight. So it it's uh, you know it has more context for a particular word. Okay. So there is another uh, piece. Uh, so we are doing the TRF word pieces when when you print. So you can see that uh, uh, it it has broken down my sentence. Transformer encoder decoder like this. So it it has written me uh, some different tokens. CLS is uh, the as we know that word is um, it starts always uh, word is it starts sentence with the CLS token and ends a sentence with the separator token so that's what mm -hmm. we get as default uh, as a word piece now the transformer is broken down into two words transform uh, encoder is broken down in three parts and code so this is how uh, bird is um, you know giving you tokens and um, next is how, the, the question is that if it is giving me word tokens like this, then how we are, um, you know, getting the correct sentence. So the answer is using the TRF alignment. So this is inbuilt feature uh, which comes with the spacey. Yeah. So. Okay, so you can uh, see that uh, it, it it automatically identifies the uh, group of the words, right? So transformer it knows that okay the transformer is broken into two words one so one index second index it both combined and give you the word transformer. Similarly, it knows that uh, it tells you you know it it combines the broken word into a one words three four five so it knows that okay the third fourth and fifth this all combined will produce a common word so so the trf underscore alignment is used to uh, predict the word um, the next word in the sentence the same four sentence i'm using here for the evaluation purpose and checking the similarity so you can see that it is giving me the score um, you know that the the first and third sentence which is actually talking about the river bank is giving the similar score five zero and four nine the second and fourth sentence which is actually talking about the uh, money bank so it's giving the similar score as nine and nine when we are doing this sentence similarity so we have taken the complete sentence and uh, comparing with each other so you can see that um, the sentence comparison also you know they, they are different so it is able to identify that uh, yeah the, these two sentences the first and second sentence is different you know the third and fourth is different <coughs> but if you are using a simple spacey then uh, the sentence score you know it's coming very close so it is not able to identify that it, it assumes that first and second sentence is almost similar only 10 percent difference is there but here you can see that uh, it's, it's quite a 20 percent difference we are getting so this is how it's powerful uh, when the transformer is combined with the spacey. So easiness of spacey and uh, the powerful of uh, you know uh, of the models. Uh, 
let me come to the next screen. Okay. It looks like my today my laptop is taking too much of time. It's unusual. So, Vishal, any question till now? It's the time it is yeah, loading. So answer. With what sentence is the uh, comparison? Like, what are Sorry. the pairs? Uh, could you um, could you repeat again, please? So, what are the pairs, or what uh, with what sentence is the comparison? Okay, so um, you can see that uh, you know uh, the first sentence is I went to River Bank for evening walk. My second sentence is that I went to deposit rupees thousand in my bank account. So one sentence is talking about the river bank and second sentence is talking about the money bank. When and when doing the word similarity, we have uh, we have taken the word bank, comparing the bank word which is used in the first sentence with the word bank used in the second sentence. As a human being, we know that uh, the the bank word used in the first sentence is referring to a river bank and the, uh, the uh, when this the same word is used in the second state uh, second sentence it is referring to the uh, the money bank so we know the similarity that they, they are uh, they are different so when we are comparing these two words without using transformer in the spacey the similarity is similarity score is coming as one so it means that it is not able to uh, differentiate uh the the use of the word bank in both the sentence so it means that it is not able to identify the context what is the context of the word bank uh, in which uh, it is used in a particular sentence but when the same species is used with the transformer model it is giving you a different discourse depending on the context that okay in the first sentence the context of the bank is the river bank in the second the context of the bank is the money bank and both are different both words are not same that's why the similarity score is coming different okay so another is how easy is it to transfer is to do a transfer learning with spacey bar yeah it's easy so it gives you it provides you the uh, some methods and functions which we can use to uh, train the um, models so i will come to that point uh, yeah so after this the second uh, is you know i'm talking about the transfer learning only yeah okay so Transfer learning, the package. Uh, let me. Is it visible or should I uh, do a slideshow? Yeah, that's visible. No problem. Okay, because I think slideshow is uh, you know taking quite a time. No, okay, good. We got it. Okay, so how the transfer learning is working here? So the package which uh, which we are using in with this PC uh, which is provided. Uh, already have uh, comes with the uh, train weights binary weights for the transformer model okay so we have some weights um, so the main use case for pre-trained transform model is a uh, transform learning we all know that uh, because to uh, to train a model with a heavy corpus like wikipedia and all takes too much of time and so much of resources so it is always uh, you know uh, advisable to do the transfer learning first train it and uh, pre-train your model on some unlabeled data then do the fine tuning with labeled data so 
the same thing we are uh, we are doing here so we already have a pre-trained model bird excelnet and others which is coming as a package right so uh, we uh, they have the, we we have the pre weights uh, um, with that through spacey provides the inbuilt functions as i said uh, an lp dot update function which we can use to fine tune our models on on our custom you know uh, training data with the labels <clears throat> so the spacey transformer package has the custom pipeline components that make this especially easy we provide an i'll, uh, I'll be giving you the example of a categorization uh, where uh, we try to um, try to train the pre-trained model okay so uh, so this lets you use the model like bird to predict contextual token representations and then the uh, it will you know we can do the text categorization also okay here are the some of these steps uh, if you want to train your model uh for the you know text classification purpose and it's not only the uh, you know text classification we we can use the same nlp resume training and nlp dot update method uh for uh, for training the model for uh, maybe for um, for other purpose also not not just text classification so the first step uh, in training your model is that uh, load load the model you want to start with like if it can be a bird, it can be excelnet, um, bird cased, uncased. So load the model, add a text classifier, because this is specifically for the text classification, because the code sample which I'll be showing is uh, related to the text classification. So um, adding the text classi classifier in the pipeline, load the pre-process um, uh, data set, you know the label data we are talking here so we uh, load load your uh, label data loop over the training examples partition them into batches um, spc provides a mini batch uh, function uh, which does uh, you know um, just provide the batch size and it uh, it it creates the mini batch and train your model on this uh, mini batch so the first thing which we are doing is that um, the the first step in training your model is nlp dot resume training so what it does is that it takes nlp dot resume training it takes the initial um, the uh, the pre-trained weights it collects the pre-trained weights update the model by calling the nlp dot update so nlp in, in this is the method which we are just talking about nlp dot update so here we provide the pre-trained weights and our text data uh, the the label data and the loss and it goes uh, we call the update method in a loop for uh, the mini batch loop so what it does is that it compares the it compared the output and takes the loss that um, how near it is and um, it, mm -hmm. it calculates the gradient and loss and pass to the uh, to the uh, to the model uh, it update updates a weight uh, further to get the uh, to fine tune the model uh, with the data the label data which we have provided <coughs> sorry okay then um then uh, once it is uh, <clears throat> updated and we got the fine tune uh, model back so we can calculate the precision we take the precision and can save the model using nlp dot two disk method so uh, so that um, we can use reuse the weight calculated after the uh, after this uh, uh, training exercise in the um, in the upcoming task okay so i will go to the um, code now okay so a uh, simple uh, we are, we import the spacey um, using the mini batch uh, uh, library random torch 
as, as we know that um, uh, because we now we are going to train the bird model so we are loading the bird base if you want to train your excel net you are you are planning to use the excel net model just load the excel net model the same way once the model is loaded uh here we are creating the pipe as i was initially i was talking about the nlp uh, the spacey pipeline yeah so uh the, the 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 very good feature of the pipeline is that we can also create our custom components and can add into the uh, default nlp pipeline so however uh, nlp pipeline comes with some uh, default components as we have already talked about tagger parser tokenizer tokenization so all that so here we are creating a text cat um, uh, component with uh, with the with the name given as trf underscore text cat <coughs> sorry we are using we are adding the label positive uh, this is for the uh, classification so we are uh, doing the um, classification whether it's positive or negative one more thing is that uh, the text classification here uh, the same uh, same component can be used for the uh, multi class classification also there's no special uh, di different method so uh, in we can use the same for binary classification and uh, also for the multi class classification the, the the steps are same so we add add the add your labels in the um, component and uh, add uh, the, the component which we have created we can use the uh, nlp.add pipe method to add the component into the inbuilt pipeline of, of the uh, spacing so you can see that this is added i will not execute the code because it is taking too much of time so it get it might get hanged uh, okay so here i am printing the nlp. Uh, pipe so just to check that uh, what are the components um, available in in my pub in this PC pipeline so you see the sentence sizer word piece talk to back this we have already seen <coughs> now one more component the text cat is getting added because here we are adding the text category also so this this uh, component is basically we will be using to um, to categorize the text and predict that uh, predict the uh, sentiment uh, of the setters for the text classification. Uh, this is how we are passing that training data. It's a sample data I have created. Uh, this text and the passing a dictionary uh, with the value positive score, negative score. Okay. So after passing the, after getting the, preparing the training data, we are using the NLP dot resume training and storing the weights into the optimizer. Iterating through the loop by default, I have taken just um, a 10 times iteration uh, using the shuffle method so that uh, you know we can perform shuffling in our training data, calculating the loss, and here iterating creating the uh, mini batch with the train data size provided as three. This is the method nlp.updates, which we are calling and passing our text categories and the initial weights on the pre uh, pre-trained weights which comes uh, with the model uh, in the sjd optimizer and the loss which we are calculating here so when you execute you will see that these are the losses and this is the iterative process so it uh, all the loss and the text categories are passed and the corresponding weights are passed into the update method so internally this update function is actually calling uh, all other functions in the NLP pipeline and um, uh, and passing the gradients back to the uh, transformer model and updating the weights to get the uh, to fine tune the model. Now to predict the uh, the sentiment. We just uh, use a simple pass um, sentence into the NLP pipeline. NLP, yeah, we get the doc. Use the uh, method doc dot uh, uh, category uh, doc dot cats to get the output. So it will give you the score. What is the positive score and the negative score? If it is trained on a large model uh, with the mini batches, so definitely it will give you a very 
uh, improved performance and high performance. So this is how we can train the uh, models uh, which we are using. So next, uh, so conclusion is that uh, we all know that training large transformer models is, uh, you know, not possible for everyone. So that's why we uh, we rely on the much rely much on the transfer learning. <coughs> that is why the BERT and XLNet and uh, and Elmo and all other models uh, are popular um, whenever uh, for for doing the NLP uh, task, performing the NLP task. So it uh, reduces the time, reduces the resources, and uh, gives the uh, accurate results, state-of-the-art results. So it's good. Um, yeah, thank you. Yes. Hi, thank you, uh, uh, Ashish. Uh, any other questions, audience? Any questions, audience? So, thank you, Ashish. How to use this for NER training? Yeah, okay. So, uh, of course, the updating the model is uh, the steps which I showed you is going to be same for um, updating the model. And uh, the way, you know, uh, this is for the text categorization. So we have added the um, categories. Okay. So for your NER model, we know that um, we have the uh, in, in the, the component um, named entity recognition component in the pipeline. So we will we will be using that component uh, when while training the model. So it will train your model on that component, and uh, yeah, that will help. Next is uh, why is it called a transformer? Okay, so because uh, see, if you take BERT model, if you take XLNet, if you take GPT two, any model, so the 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 base is transformer. Yeah, so their base architecture is transformer. That's why it is called the spacey transformer, because all your new models are built over the transformer architecture that's why it is called the uh, spacey transformer okay next is uh, how was the accuracy or loss calculated again again please mathematically i mean mathematically um I have not gone through internally that how the, what formula they are um, using, uh, you know, uh, for uh, uh, for calculating the loss, uh, what function we have, uh, you know. So that's a mathematics which is behind the in, inside the package. That's why they, you know, SPC is providing us uh, the inbuilt package so that uh, we don't have to think about the math, all the mathematics behind it. We just can use in the production with the task without um, you know spending a lot of time in, in the calculations. Okay, next is uh, I know that BERT has 512 tokens. How will this be used for long sentences or paragraphs classification? Uh, sorry, Vishal, this question is not clear to me. Can you repeat again? Let me try I to repeat, understand. Uh, so, gentleman is saying, I know that BERT has 512 tokens. Hmm, yeah. 512 tokens. How will this be used for long sentences or paragraphs classification? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so sorry. Uh, I'm I'm not uh, aware of this. 
hello okay okay any any other questions audience we are almost in time so if no questions are coming so uh, i would like to thank all the audience from across the world on this webinar uh, to attend this webinar in these uh, difficult times learning must go on and thank you ashish for the great presentation so recording will be made live for this on self start youtube channel i have already shared the link for it and you can keep coming back and there is a uh, <coughs> workshop for ai lab members and prime members tomorrow uh, that will be broadcasted online so thank you all and uh, have a nice day Okay. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Bye.